done buying Airbnbs. No more. No more. That last video I just posted, I rewatched it. And I think in the moment, I've slowly gotten to a place where I'm looking at houses that are way too expensive for Airbnbs. So I'm done, man. The market's too fucked up right now. It seems like everyone's buying as much as they can. It seems like no one's money's running out. It also seems like no one has a fucking job. I think we can all agree that it feels like the economy's headed in a really weird direction. So I decided last night I'm gonna take a break. Um, I think one of the important things for me personally, I don't care what you do, but I have a bunch of different things that I do, right? And I'd be fully aware that if I'm actively looking at real estate, a lot of my attention is gonna go towards real estate. And I think I wanna put that attention somewhere else for a little while. The Airbnb market, the housing market in general, especially in Montana, is absolutely disgusting. Um, same thing, we're not caught up with contractors, we're not caught up with builders. So I think what I'm gonna do is buckle down, focus on the Airbnbs I have. I'm gonna casually keep my eye out, but maybe I'll just look every Monday. I, won't, I normally look every single night. And I'm gonna put that attention to something else. I have a really exciting project coming up. Um, there's a couple different creative ways I can go about that project. And I think one of them is to really include you guys. Um, so I'm not ready to quite tell you guys what that is yet, but soon. But in the meantime, man, I'm done. I can't profit making real estate right now. I have, so my real estate leasing company owns everything. Um, I do have the warehouse that we're building uh, that I'll be renting essentially to myself or to my businesses. I have West, um, which I'm renting and it's appreciating. I have uh, six acres over here, which I'm just sitting on right now as an investment property. I have 10 acres up there, commercial, that I'm sitting on as an invest, invest, investment property. Uh, Long-term hold, I have my parents' house that I bought them. Um, I wanted to retire my parents, so in Pennsylvania, I bought them a house, and then when I moved out here, I bought them a house because I think they, I feel like I owe them a little bit. They did a really good job putting um, a bunch of skills into me that apparently assembled into a fact that I can navigate through life pretty powerfully, so. The least I could do is retire them and buy them a house. My house is a long-term hold. Um, I have the lake house on Whitefish Lake. Um, purchased that for 1.3. I put 95 in, I believe, and it's probably worth 2.2 right now. Uh, the riverfront retreat, snagged that for 400 even. Um, that crushes. That would probably appraise for seven right now, I would think. Uh, the A-frame, that was my first one, bought that for 300, put 55,000 into it, and then another $20,000 later. Um, that one, I have no idea what it would praise for right now. The farmhouse, um, same thing, long-term hold. I'm eventually gonna pull that pre-manufactured house off of that and get rid of it. Uh, Glacier Log Home Hideaway, I manage that, but that's actually not my property. Um, and then the Glacier Getaway, same thing. That's also not my property, but I manage it, it's owned by a little team in here. I have to be missing something. About 10, maybe. Um, and always looking for more, but dude, the market, like, I just can't, like, I'm looking at $650,000 houses that the only way to make money on them is to buy them in cash. And, um, like, I got, I'm building hangars at the airport. Uh, that storage thing's still sort of up in the air, so I can't exhaust all my cash flow on a house that only turns 700. Um, it's just the market's fucking weird right now. Crypto's weird, the market's weird, stocks don't seem real. Um, so a lot of times like this, I just like to bet on myself. So as far as where my cash is going, where my attention's going moving forward, uh, I'm gonna batten down the hatches on my own businesses. So Flagner fail, run everything, uh, the relaunch project that I showed you guys. And then I'll just reinvest in the Airbnbs I have and try to get that nightly average up. But I'm done buying Airbnbs for now. At least the next six months. No more of my energy is going towards you, Realtor.com or Zillow. Lemon.